a Trunk Club unboxing. So Trunk Club is somewhat similar to Stitch Fix if you're familiar with it. Trunk Club is run through Nordstrom and it's similar to Stitch Fix in that you have a stylist, they send you, I think I got 12 pieces, you pay $25 and then you keep the stuff that you like, you return anything that you don't, you get to try it on at home, give them feedback, um, tell them kind of what you're looking for, those types of things. And I do Stitch Fix regularly. Two videos ago was a Stitch Fix try on and I love Stitch Fix, I use it quite a bit. They, are, they can be hit and miss, but I wanted to try Trunk Club. I have a friend that tried it before, and I figured, why not? Trunk Club is a little bit more in-depth. Like, when I signed in, there was a person that asked me a bunch of questions. They asked me where I worked. They asked me pieces that I wanted to be on the lookout for, styles I liked, styles I didn't like, colors and patterns and things like that. And then that person wasn't actually my stylist. That person was supposed to pass the information on to my stylist, and then my stylist sent 12 things. You can link them to your Pinterest board and try to show them your style. So they sent me stuff. I said specifically that the three pieces I would like to try are overalls, blazers, and a cold shoulder top. And so they sent me some things for that. With Trunk Club, they send you your box. They show you what you got before they send it out. And then if there's stuff that you don't like, you can say, don't send this to me, and they'll just switch it out. So there were three pieces that I did switch out. I will, I screenshotted them on my app before I kind of rejected them and had them trade them out. So there were a pair of wide leg overalls that did not look at all like my style, a pair of wide leg like capri white pants that I thought would be terrible on me and make me look really frumpy and short, and then a top that just the color scheme did not seem like something that I was going for. I did tell them I was a teacher, I did say there's like a little style quiz you take ahead of time, and I'm pretty sure that in that I said that I didn't wear sandals, and there was something else, but they don't, you can't go back and retake your quiz, or I at least haven't found it, or see what your answers were to change anything. On Stitch Fix, there is a way for you to go back and change your answers and change things as your style changes. So that was one thing that I was a little let down by. I tried everything on. Some things were better than I expected. Some things that they sent me in general were just kind of a miss, and honestly, the first time I got the information for my box, I didn't like a lot of it, but there were some pieces that I figured I would try. I didn't feel like this was a win, and I didn't feel like it matched my style. I did send her my Pinterest board that linked with what my stuff was, which I think is fairly consistent. I had a lot of, like, dresses with tights and boots and things like that, and this stuff just didn't seem to match my style at all. And some of the stuff that I talked with with the person before my stylist, like, I didn't like ruffle sleeves they sent. I was, I don't know. I don't feel like they did a great job at listening to everything that I wanted. So anyway, I'm going to go through and talk about the pieces, what I liked, what I got, what I thought about it. Oh, and Trunk Club is a little bit more expensive since it is run through Nordstrom. So I think I put, when I signed up, I think I put everything in the $50 to $100 category, but they did say there are some things that are going to go outside of your price range. Are you okay with that? Which I was like, okay, I just probably won't keep those things. So here's what I got. So this first thing is the One State Harbor Light Cold Shoulder Blouse. This one is an extra small, and I think I put all my tops as smalls, but I did get some extra small stuff, which... Like the shorts I'll show you later shouldn't have been extra small, but whatever. This one is okay. I think this one's actually on sale. So it says it's $53. I think this one might have been more expensive and then the Nordstrom sale is going on right now and those prices affect what you have to pay for these tops. Um, I appreciate that this has like an adjustable little thing that you can adjust the straps. I hate the sleeves. I feel like the sleeves are really awkward and they do button at the bottom, which makes it an awkward length. I don't know, I didn't hate this top as much as I thought I was going to based on the picture, honestly, but um, it's $53 according to my price sheet. I just, this was not a win. The sleeves particularly, I think if the sleeves were different and not buttons at the bottom, I might like this one more, but mostly the sleeves really put me off of this shirt. So I'm not going to keep that one. The other cold shoulder top that they gave me was this Vince Camuto cold shoulder ruffle sleeve top. This one's $79. I am I know that I told the stylist that I didn't like the ruffle sleeve trend. Um, so clearly listened there. Um, I thought overall, again, it comes down to the sleeves. If the sleeves weren't so big and roughly, like if they were straight sleeves, I think I would actually love this top, but I hate the ruffle sleeves. I just feel like it's too much. I like this. I think this is a cute tie. I think the shirt itself could be cute, minus the ruffle sleeves. I don't like that detailing, and especially not for 
$79. It's just not, not my thing. Um, so they tried with the cold sleeve top. They sort of listened, but it just, neither of them quite hit the mark for me. So this one is the High Sugar Plum Bonita Ruffled Tank from Gibson in green, and this one's $39. This one's okay. I don't think I would probably end up wearing this one to work just because the back cuts a little bit further. If the back didn't cut in as far so that the ruffles were like more like a sleeve, I think I would like this one a little bit better. I do like the color, and I think it's okay. I just, I don't see that I would probably wear it very much. $39 is actually more reasonable, but it is more like a t-shirt material, and it just, I don't love it enough to keep it. The next thing kind of baffles me. So the next thing is the ASTR Aster Open Side Tank in gray. This one is $49. Okay, so she pinned this one as a work shirt. I did say that I was a teacher. In what world is this side open thing reasonable for a teacher to wear in the classroom? Like it, and in my trunk she separates out into outfits and it said outfits for work. Mm -mm. That's, that's not gonna fly. Like I don't understand. That just didn't make sense to me in what world that would be appropriate for a school teaching setting. But whatever. Um, the color is cute. If it weren't for the side cutout, I would probably keep the shirt. I think it's cute, except for that, but I just don't, yeah. I, this is more like a work shirt, except for that side cutout, and I probably wouldn't wear it in, like, my everyday life. Um, so, for that reason, not gonna hang on to this one. This one was $49, if I didn't say. I just was baffled by the side cutout for work. What? Okay, the next couple of things were blazers, so they were listening when I asked for a couple of blazer pieces. And so the first thing, the first blazer that they sent is the Mural Curve Open Front Shawl Collar Blazer. This one's $74 and it's black. This one it was okay. I don't like the length that the sleeves went down to. I feel like it seemed like it was a little too big. The shoulders fit okay, um, but the sleeve made it seem like it was too big for me. It was cute enough, but I have kind of similar things that I like better. So they attempted, it just wasn't necessarily the best fitting for me, and so I'm not gonna hang on to that one. The other blazer that they sent me is the Mural Slouchy Boyfriend Blazer. I love the color of this. Mint is one of my favorite colors. And this one I liked more than I expected to. Um, the sleeves fit well and it fit fine. I don't know, I just don't love the oversized like boyfriend slouchy thing. It's, I don't know. I, because I'm so short and small, I feel like it's not the most flattering look for me. Um, this one was $74 as well. I don't know. It was more on the mark than the other one was. It just still wasn't the best for my body type, I don't think, and it wasn't the most flattering for me. The next two things were the things that I was kind of banking on when I first saw my trunk. These were the things that I had the highest hopes for, looking just through the things that they sent and seeing that didn't necessarily match my style. I had the highest hope for these two things. So these are two pairs of pants. The first ones are Topshop jeans. These are um, the Topshop Joni Super High Waisted Skinny Jeans, and these are in the petite size. These are $68, and with Trunk Club, just like Stitch Fix, you pay in $25 to style. If you don't keep anything, you lose that $25, but if you keep something, that goes towards whatever you purchase. I've heard a lot about the Topshop jeans, and I actually really, really like these. These are super stretchy and comfortable. They are mid-rise to high-waisted, high so they're like not uncomfortable. I feel like the back is really flattering. Um, they're a great length for me, and they're just super comfortable. So I think I'm actually going to keep these. Having a black pair of skinny jeans is awesome, especially because I've heard so many good things about these, but I usually get American Eagle ones and they fade really quickly, so I need a new pair of black skinny jeans anyway. But I love these. I might need to look more into the Topshop jeans and just see what they've got out there. I've heard people talk good things about them, but we don't have a Nordstrom near us or a Topshop near us. So I've never tried them. But I really, really liked these. These were great. The next pair of jeans that I got are the Wit and Wisdom Super Smooth Stretch Denim Skinny Jeans. These are also $64. I feel like these are pretty basic jeans. They were very comfortable and they're stretchy, but I feel like I have other pairs of basic skinny jeans that I like just as much that are 
fine. So I don't feel like I'm going to keep these. They were cute enough and they were pretty comfortable. They were a little bit loose in the waist. So I just like the Joni jeans better. And so I think I'm going to hang on to those. But these I don't feel like are a necessity for me to keep just because they're not as different from other stuff that I have. And I feel like they weren't, they were fine. Like they were okay, but they weren't as flattering as the Joni jeans where I feel like those were more flattering. The next thing that I have, it's almost comical how long it took me to figure out how to get this dress on. I probably spent 15 minutes trying to get this dress on and at first I thought I wasn't going to be able to try it on at all because I couldn't get it over my head and I didn't see a zipper anywhere but eventually I found there's like a hidden side zipper but then when I tried it on I couldn't get it zipped up. It was kind of a mess and like the wrap part itself, oh gosh. This is the Eliza J floral print wrap dress. This was $138 and this was okay. This was one of the items that they replaced when I said those other three things weren't really my style. Um, this is okay. I liked it more than I thought I would, but it still is $138, and I feel like it was very matronly and, like, kind of dowdy looking. Um, and I don't have enough of a bust to really fill out these wrap-type dresses. I'm pretty sure I put on my survey that I didn't like wrap dresses either. Like, I think, I'm pretty sure I did. I don't know. I don't, like, I feel like there were a lot of things on the survey that I put, and then they didn't really listen, which was kind of frustrating, but... It's fine. It, I liked it better than I thought I would. I like the pattern better than I thought I would. Um, this one has elastic sleeves, which is not my favorite thing. I feel like those get really uncomfortable throughout the day. And so I just wasn't the biggest fan of this. But seriously, I was sweating by the time I figured out how to get this thing on. This was kind of a mess to try to try on. But it just, it was okay. It just wasn't the best thing ever for me. The last thing that I have for clothes before I have two pairs of shoes I also thought was just comical. So I asked for overalls and she said they didn't have a huge selection of overalls so she had originally planned to send me the one pair that I did not think was very cute at all. Um, and then this pair. This is a pair of Joe's jeans. They are the short denim overalls for $198. $198. That in itself, I'm like, okay, so my price range was $50 to $100. $200 for a pair of overalls? Are you kidding? But whatever. Okay. So these were fine. Um, they sent me an extra small, which I am not. I had to unbutton the sides to get them on, which I don't think I've ever had to do with a pair of overalls. They're cute. They're fine. $200? Absolutely not that cute. And the other thing, like, these are supposed to be rolled, I think. Like, it's sewed up so that the sides are rolled, but, like, they don't stay rolled. I don't know. I'm confused by that. In theory, I like them. I haven't tried overalls in a really long time, and I know it's kind of the trend right now, and I liked these. Like, I think I would go out and buy a cheap pair, but I don't think I would ever buy a $200 pair of overalls. I just can't. I can't get behind that. But this made me want to try other overalls again and, like, see what else I can find. It's just not these particular ones. Between the bottom and the cost, it's just not... That's not happening. The last two things that they sent were the replacement items that they added, which were shoes, both of which are totally not my style. So the first ones that I have here, I'm not trying these on just because shoes are shoes. They look the same whether you hold them up or have them on your feet, I think. These are the Vince Camuto Sassetta Sandal in Taupe Suede. All right, you, some of this might be your style for some of you, but I think these are hideous. Between like the weird partial heel and like the ankle strap, this this isn't happening for me. I'm just not a sandal person. I wear flats or boots or like sneakers pretty much all the time. I'm pretty sure that I said I don't wear sandals. But like these, ugh, no. Just no. And those are $110. Not my style at all. The other ones that they sent me are these. These are Soul Society. They're like rose gold and kind of scalloped. These are cuter than the other ones. I appreciate that they don't have like the weird heel. These are the Soul Society Odette Scalloped Ankle Strap Flat Sandal for $69.95. There's just not a lot to this shoe for $70, but I don't like the ankle strap thing. I've never liked ankle straps, and I just don't wear sandals. So this is not going to be something that I keep. Um, they're fine enough, but it's just not, not my style at all. So that is what I got from Trump Club. I'm keeping the Joni jeans and I think everything else is going back. I don't know. I don't feel like they quite hit it on the mark and I thought it was going to be better because the questions that they asked me, they asked me a huge amount of questions. It was like a 10 minute conversation back and forth with somebody 
when I signed up for the box. So I was like, oh, okay, they're going to get it. And I feel like none of it was really my style. And I sent them my Pinterest board, which I think tells a good story of my style. And like the sandals and stuff, I'm like, I don't know where she got that from. I don't know. It was not a winner for me. I don't think I would probably do Trunk Club again. Stitch Fix can be hit or miss, but I do feel like they better pin down your style. And I feel I like that they have the style quiz. I like that you can retake the style quiz. They have like little things that help them understand your style better. I don't know. And like this, you have to go to a UPS store and ship back if you don't have a Nordstrom near you, which I don't. So I have to go take this to a UPS store because it's a pretty big box. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do this again, but let me know your thoughts on the items that I got. If you've had experiences with Trunk Club, if you tried it and then it improved after you got it the first time, let me know that. I'd be curious. Um, I don't know. It just didn't go how I expected it to. So I'm sorry that this felt like a more negative video. It just it did not go how I anticipated. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know that in the comments below. And if there's any other subscription style services that you guys think I should try, let me know that down below as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.